Can't put can't put that on there. My grandma watched my videos. Hmm. Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, I know I've been gone for a long time. I've been gone for too long. I think it's time to bring it back. Okay. Um. So, yeah. Today I am coming to you all with a drugstore makeup haul. Um, it's just gonna be full of things that I got from Ulta, Target, Target. Ulta, Target, and Wally World. Um, I'm going to try to go in some type of order so I can swatch some things. Um, so I really, 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 really hope you enjoy this video. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share this with your friends and your family and your folk. You feel me? You feel me? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, let's get into this haul. Let's get into this haul. All right, and um, majority of this stuff I have not used. No, actually, I have used two of these things. Um, I've used lipstick and I've used one of my eyeshadow primers. But the lips, the lipstick that I use, I actually used it today. It's on my lips right now. But um, the first thing I want to show you is this Revolution um conceal and define full coverage foundation this is what it looks like if it'll focus okay yeah this is what it looks like i love the packaging and um just for color references i got the shade 513 and again i haven't used any of these things so it's possible that I'm going to do a video with certain sets of these things, maybe because I have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I picked up five different foundations. So, yeah. And that foundation is vegan, cruelty free, paraben free, and oil free. It gives a real skin finish that diffuses blemishes and uneven skin tone. So, we're going to see what that's about when I use it. All right. Um,. This is a tried and true. Um, I've had it before. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I got the shade 356 Warm Coconut. And this is what that looks like. There we go. Boom. Hmm. All right, next, another oldie but a goodie is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. And I got mine in the shade Sienna. And, of course, this is what this one looks like. Boom, bam, pow, pow. Boom, boom. All right, next, this is the second to last foundation. I got the Revlon Color Stay 24-Hour Foundation in the shade 400 Caramel. And this is for combination oily skin, and it has a matte finish. Um, last but not least, this is the Black Radiance Color Perfect Oil-Free Liquid Makeup. And um, I got this one in the shade Nutmeg. And it says on the back, Black Radiance Color Perfect Liquid Makeup enhances the natural undertones of the skin. It says it's ideal for all skin types. And yeah, we're going to see about Viot. So again, um, this is that one. I don't think I showed y'all the last one, but you know, it's all right. So that is what that one looks like. Um, and I got this e.l.f. Putty Primer because I've never used it and um, a lot of people rave about it. So I decided to get that. We all know what that looks like. And again, see, I haven't used any of these things. So that was the last of the foundations. Now I'm going to move on to the concealers that I got. And I only got one, two, three concealers. But... Um, one of these, well, two of these kind of sort of for sure are only going to be able to like in this inner corner and right under my eye because they're entirely too bright for me. But um, the first one I'm going to show you is a regular highlighting concealer. It's maybe two shades lighter than my actual skin tone. Maybe more. Maybe more. But I really like a really bright under eye. Not, not like today. This was just something simple to yeah, get this up. All right, this is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer, and I got it in the shade. I got it in the shade D100, which is golden caramel, caramel, like I said, wherever you're from. Okay. Anyway, and I really like the packaging on this. I think it's just really this top with the black and white stripes on it. It's, it's, it's really, really nice. 
you know, it was really, really cute, really nice. You feel me? Uh -huh. Okay. All right, the next concealer I'm going to show you is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Um, and this one is in the shade, and it says it's more than concealer. Oh, y'all can't see me. And it said this one is more than concealer, whatever that means. And I got it in the shade, if I can find it. Give me a second. Don't look like I can find it. That's weird. Oh, it's on the top. I got it in the shade Almond. So, um, again, this is one that will only go directly under and in this inner corner. So, don't try me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But this is what that one looks like. There we go. Boom. That's upside down. Boom. And um, I did another haul, but it was all one brand. It was Shop Miss A. I'm going to put it in the cards wherever that is right left i'm not sure all right um and the last one this one is entirely too bright this is the revolution conceal and define infinite long wear concealer it says it's crease proof and it has infinite coverage whatever that means um and it says it has 20 percent more coverage and it's a 16 hour wear i don't know how you calculate 20 percent more coverage but you know okay I and mean, I got this in the shade C12 and this is what this looks like. It looks just like that. Um, it looks just like that foundation bottle that I showed you earlier from Makeup Revolution. But this is more of um, this is more shiny and the um, the foundation too was a more matte type of tooth. So next I'm going to go into lips. But first I'm going to show you this because I totally forgot about it. I got the um, Elf Total Face Sponge. And I know this sponge is really, really good. So I'm just going to, you know, show it to you all and skip on through. Boom, bam, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. All right. All right. So I want to um, actually swatch a few of these lip products. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the packaging really, 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 really quickly. I'm going to swatch these because it's only, what, seven of them? I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm going to swatch them because it's only seven of them. And, um, yeah. You tell me what you all think. All right, so I'm going to roll my sleeve up. Roll, 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 roll. All right, I'm back. Mm. All right. So the first lip product that I'm going to show you, I'm going to put them in some type of order because I got okay. So, um, so the first one I'm going to show you is the Milani Matte Satin. What well, is the Amore Satin Matte Lip Cream? And I got this one in the shade what? This shade Lavish. And this is what that one looks like. There we go. Okay, boom, bam, pow, that's the color of it. All right, so of course, this is one that I would definitely have to wear with a lip liner. Don't play me. So this is what that one looks like. All right, the next one I got is another Amore Satin Matte Lip Cream. And I got this one in the shade Lux. All right, next is another, well, this is the last Milani um, lip I got. And this is the Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. And it is in the shade Soft Rose. So this is more just like a lip gloss type of vibe. And the other ones were more um, lipsticks. Yeah, it, it don't want to act right right now. But I'm going to show, I'm still going to swatch it. Again, this one is just a lip gloss type of vibe. Oh, yeah, I'm going to wear the heck out of that one. Nah, nah, nah. Try to trick it. Didn't work. Um, next is actually one that I have on right now. This lip and a lip gloss from Shop Miss A. I have to find it. 
but um this is the black radiance perfect tone matte lip cream and this is in the shade does it have a shade name i don't think it has a shade name now this one really doesn't have a shade name i can't not read on this one this one really doesn't interesting unless it was on the packaging and i threw that away but um it does have a number on the bottom it says 5403 so yeah this is what that one looks like now if it showed this one and it didn't show my other one i'm gonna be up to the set you hear me oh boom <laughs> look what i had to, I had to cover my face and this one is supposed to be matte as well that's what she looks like it is actually way darker than i thought it would be interesting very very interesting all right so um the next one is another black radiance it is the beyond the pout lip lacquer and this one is actually in the shade heat wave this one actually has a name it's in the shade heat wave this is more of a gloss and from the looks of it it looks like it's probably pretty sheer as well so we're gonna see what it's all about but yeah that's her right this reminds me of like my first ever like the shade does remind me of my yeah this is going to be sheer it reminds me of my first ever um mac lip gloss that my mommy got me it was like forever ago it was a little pink little lip gloss and you couldn't see nothing but i thought i was sha popping you hear me i thought i was sha popping okay hmm and i was nobody could tell me that i was not um also even though i'm pretty sure well if you watched my videos when i first started which was like a couple of months ago um changed my hair color ha 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 giving a little um giving a little fall giving a little autumn you know whatever you like to say giving a little y'all giving a little J. Janae beauty because she who did my hair she who did my hair <laughs> because she who did my hair and whatnot i'm going to tag her information in the description box below if you're in the birmingham area check her out she's bomb she straightened my hair and everything and i didn't think my hair could get straight you feel me and it bounced right back so she's a beast at what she do what's up anyway um yeah, giving you a little, all of that, giving you a little sideshow bob. <laughs> um, it's always fun when you can, you know, make fun of yourself. Because, you know, can't nobody else, you know, upset you because you already know. I know I'm giving a little sideshow bob, but I'm cute. Okay. I actually love these Wet n' Wild um, liquid cat suits. This is what that one looks like oh my goodness like i like it and this one last but not least is my last lip product for this haul it is the wet n wild mega last liquid catsuit matte lipstick in the shade rebel rose so of course this one is going to be rosy and that is what she looks like well this is what her packaging looks like it looks exactly like the first one i just showed you but it just has a black top and black writing or whatever but that is what she looks like and those are all my lipsticks boom bam wham bam thank you ma'am all right so now moving on to eyes and the first thing i'm going to show you is really not like a eye product but it's an eyebrow product close enough okay okay close enough close enough and it is the ColourPop brow boss and i got mine in the shade dark brown yeah i got dark brown and um this is what it looks like there we go it actually reminds me of a um anastasia brow pencil well brow wiz so yeah i actually really 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 can't wait to use that all right the next thing i'm going to show you all is this nyx epic wear waterproof eye and body liquid liner and i got the shade sapphire i actually got two of these i got this one and i have a white one um so uh this is what it looks like boom bam you really wouldn't know what color it was until you probably actually took it out so this is it this is it um again i have the white one it's just called white and it is the epic wear waterproof liner as well oh but yeah um next i'm going to get into is lashes 
I bought one, two, three, four packs of lashes. Um, three are singles. No, two are singles and two are doubles. So first ones I'm going to talk about are both of them. They're by Ardell. Um, this is the Ardell Studio Effects Pro Design Layer Lashes. And this, and these are some Demi Wispies. Um, I've always loved Ardell's Wispies. Even when I was younger and first started wearing lashes, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I loved them anyway. You feel me? You feel me? But this is what they look like. They're really thick and fluffy. And I'm really excited to use these. The band is um, a regular, schmegular, regular Ardell band. Your normal Ardell band. So, boom. The next ones I got are, of course, by Ardell, Ardell again, which is what I said before. These are some faux mink wispies. And um, these, this is what they look like. And these were actually new when I bought them. So, like, they're new now because I haven't used them. But they were actually, like, new as in they just, they had just came out. They had just come out. They had, they had just come out when I bought them. But, of course, like I said, I bought this stuff forever and a day ago. But this is what they look like. These are really pretty and I can't wait to use them. I don't know what that was. Ignore me. Okay? Don't don't ignore me. Um, the next ones are by um I Lure London and this was the Jasmine Brown collection. I had been looking at these for forever. And I just never used them. Why? I, I honestly don't know. But it says they're um reusable up to five wears. Um and it says strip lash with adhesive latex. And these are actually and it says strip lashes with adhesive and these are actually latex free um the glue is included and it says that it has a um the glue has a new 18 hour hold and it is also vegan friendly okay and the style of these is jb dramatic and i love that name that's really cute so this is what they look like and i y'all i can't wait to use them all right and these next ones i got I'm not really 100% sure of how these are going to work on me because I've never tried this brand's lashes before. I've tried Ardell's lashes and I've tried Ilure lashes before. Everybody's tried those before. But um, I've never tried the Profusion Cosmetic lashes before. And these are their iconic 3D faux mink lashes. And it says they are handmade and cruelty free. They're flexible, comfortable, and they have an invisible band. And this is in the style Oh My Lashes. So... Yeah, it says instantly get lashes four days. Instantly get lashes four days with this iconic 3D faux mink lash set. The handmade wispies are comfortable to wear from day to night and the flexible cotton band makes it easy to apply and remove. Perfect for everyone from beginners to pros. And it says that it is cruelty free. All right. And this is what these actually look like. I think they're very pretty. Um... Next few things I picked up were some more eyeliners. These are the LA Girl Shockwave liners. And um, these are all neon liners, I believe. Y'all got to come up with some looks to record. I practically missed the good entry part of fall season. But that's okay because I'm back and I'm better. I want you back as ever. All right. So, these are the liners. They are, again, the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliners. And this is what they look like. Alright, this is what they look like. They're really, really pretty. I don't know where I'm going with these now in this lovely fall, about to be winter weather. But, you know, whatever. I'll probably be able to make this one work. But I don't really know about this blue and this purple. But we shall see. Eyeliners can last you up to two years, so I'm going to use them. I'm going to swatch all of them first, and then I'm going to show you instead of trying to show them to you one at a time. All right, so here is each of them. The yellow is Screaming. The purple, nope, I swatched the blue. The blue is Fresh, and the purple one is in the shade Vivid. And this is what they look like. They're really, really pretty and really, really bright. That blue one is like, like, that blue one is banging. Like, I'm really thinking about doing that blue one with like a mono, like a monotone um, blue eyeshadow look. That would be 
That would be pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Make this blue one work during this time of the season. Okay, whatever. Um, The next two things, we're still going with eyes because eyes is the biggest and the last category. So we're still with eyes right now. And I'm going to be looking, well, I'm going to be talking about now. Wait. And now I'm going to be talking about, that's what it is. This uh, Elf Putty Eye Primer. And I've tried this once and I like it. Um, I got this one in the shade. I think this one is rose. Yeah, because the packaging is gone off of this one because I used it already. But it is on the side on this little sticker. But this one's in the shade rose. And again, I have used it already. So it has like kind of like brush, tip of a brush mark in it. So it's nothing wrong with it, people. I've used it. Okay. Okay. Um, and this is another putty eye primer and this one is in the shade. This one's just called white. So this is in the shade white. And I'm going to read some details about these. Hopefully it has on the bottom. Yep, on the back, I meant. This says, amp up your eyeshadow looks with this color intensifying eye putty primer that locks in eyeshadow for 12 hours of crease proof wear infused with vegan squalene known to moisturize throughout the day. This is what this one looks like and I haven't used this one. So this one is a fresh one. And it kind of, of course, the color of it puts me in the mind of the um, NYX Jumbo eye pencils. And if they just deposited the eye pencils and put them in this little circular tube, I'm okay with it because I loved those Jumbo eye pencils. I had almost every color because that was during the time where I ain't had no bills. So I could spend my money on whatever I want to spend my money on. Adulting. No. All right, the next thing I got, and I'm opening this already because I have been wanting to use this for a very, 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 very long time. So, um, this would be really good for like holiday looks. I mean, anytime, but it'd be really, really pretty for holiday looks. It is the Elf Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow, and I have the shade Flirty Bur Flirty Burly. That's not what it's called. I have the shade Flirty Birdie. And on the back it says, get an amped up eye look with one swipe glitter coverage. Formulated for comfortable wear and minimal fallout, this long-lasting opaque liquid eyeshadow delivers high-impact multi-dimensional glitters and pearls in a quick drying gel base. All right, and it also just, of course, gives the directions. This is what it looks like. It's so little, it's so pretty. It looks like something of Kendall's. And if you all don't know who Kendall is, mm, y'all let me to wonder. So that is what it looks like. That little piece of glitter up here. If it'll focus. There we go. Nope, not yet. Still trying to find my face. All right. That little piece of glitter up there. That's what it looks like. Okay. That'll be really pretty. This will be pretty either by itself or on top of a shadow. So. All right, the next thing I got is um, this bite size eyeshadow from e.l.f. in the shade Carnival Candy. These are only like $4. So, I want to eventually get all of them. Why didn't I get more than one this time? I honestly do not know. All right, so, this is what it looks like. I'm so glad I did not dig my nail into there because it almost happened. This is what it looks like. It is very pretty. They have very, 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 very pretty shades. And these are shades that'll work um, year round. I would use them year round, but you know. Um, I really like this blue in here. That's that blue shade. And I really like this one here right next to it. It's like a, I don't know if you want to you know, agree with me, but it's like a red dirt type of look, just about. All right, so boom goes that dynamite. All right, um, this one I'm very, I was very, very, very excited about because as I was going through, you know, Ulta, um, I was on Ulta's website and I was looking for stuff to get to show that I don't have that I actually liked that I thought was pretty cool or interesting or I thought was really pretty. This right here caught my eye, like. This is, this is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. And this one is in 
Phoenix. This one is called Phoenix. And y'all, oh my God, it's so pretty. They don't have shade names and I don't really, that's not a you know, bother for me. But this is what the shades look like. And A-M, goodness. Gonna swatch maybe two or three of them. I really like this purple shade here. And they look really, really pigmented too. Pull it back some. But yeah. And ooh, this one is pretty. Oh, I really like it. 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 Really like it. And we're going to swatch. It's like an olive tone shade. I can say shade. Shade down there. Oh, that's pretty. All right. So, so far, so good with this one. These are the three shades that I swatched. And they are really, 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 really pretty. Um, and we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five more eyeshadow palettes to go through. So I have, um, let's see. Next one I'm going to do is this one by Maybelline. It is the Nudes of New York um, eyeshadow palette. Um, this is the Nudes of New York. It looks like this. I'm going to open it up and so we can get a better view of the shades. This is what they look like boom bam oh those are pretty this is right up my alley as well a lot of nude shades um this is not focused on me ain't ain't nobody tell me anyway um i really like this shade right here this one is called inspire it feels really really soft it's not gritty like some shimmer shades can be that's really pretty um and also globe trotter as you can see, I kind of tend to swatch the same types of shades because those are the shades that I wear the most. I'm trying to get out of that, you know, you feel me? But um, it's pretty hard. I really like this shade right here. Also, it's called Fighter. This is pretty. And of course, I'm going to come on in so y'all can see. That is what those look like. They're really, really pretty. This is the Profusion Cosmetics Ruby's Ten Shallow, sh ten shallow ten Shadow Palette. And um, of course it has 10 eyeshadows. Um, but it says create versatile looks with this travel-friendly Ruby's Palette. The richly pigmented and blendable multi-finish shades range from an array of corals and reds to crimson hues. Suitable for all skin tones. This is what this one looks like. Boom, bam, pop, pop, right? And this is very different for me because I'm not really a red-toned eyeshadow type of girl, but I kind of like this one. So I'm going to show you all the shade Rouge, and it's this bright red down here at the bottom. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to show you Ruby is kind of, it is not the same, but not worth swatching right now. I want to show you one of the shimmers, so Orbit, which is this shade right here at the top. Oh, it's really smooth and silky. It's not as, I don't want to say it's not as pigmented, but I just felt more would come up just because of the way it looks. But it's really, really soft and it's not gritty at all. And I'm going to show you all this shade sizzle. It's this orange shade down here at the bottom. This is perfect for this time. Oh, all of those together are kind of banging. Give me like fruit punch type of vibe. All right, we have two more Profusion palettes. The next one is a 10 shade palette, just like that Ruby's palette. It's a 10 shade palette as well, but it is an Emeralds palette. And on the back of this one, it actually gives you um, like a little eye tutorial look. I'm gonna try to fix, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna try to do this. That's, that's gonna be a video, me trying to do this. That's going to be a video me trying to me trying to see if their directions actually work, if that makes sense. So, yeah, we're going to see um, on the back of this one. It actually says create versatile looks with this travel friendly emeralds eyeshadow palette. The richly pigmented and blendable finish and blendable multi finish shades range from an array of forest green and chartreuse. I love that word chartreuse to jade and emerald hues suitable for all skin tones. Helpful how to guide included. And these are the shades like I'm like, yeah, St. Patrick's Day in this thing. You hear me? 
and I love it. The first shade I'm going to swatch is, these are really pretty. Um, I'm going to go with radioactive. This one up here, this gold shimmer shade. That one there, you can't really see it because it's not trying to focus on it, but that one here. Yeah, that's pretty. And again, just like the other shimmers, it's really soft. And it's not really, like, you don't pick up as much. But I, which, I mean, I guess that might be a good thing for some people. But, you know, if I'm a glow, I like, I'm a glow. Okay, okay. Next shade is Fern. That's pretty. And the other pretty shade is this shade right next to Fern, which is Juniper. And it look like moss. This is pretty. Th yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, I'm about to do a look with this. Like in a few. Like that's how much I like it. Like, yeah. Alright. Last profusion palette is this Profusion Cosmetics Nude Bliss palette. And it has 21 shades and a brush. Hmm. Hmm. If you buy 21 of them, you get a brush. If you buy 10, you don't get 19. I wonder if they have other brushes and stuff on their actual website though because i know they have a website because i've looked at it before but yeah it's like a little nice little compact blending brush this one is really like classically pretty it's like classy you know got a little you know stuffy stuff i don't know what i'm talking about but yeah this one is really pretty it's like really classically pretty for real all right, and this one says, create looks from natural to chic and everything. See? See? Natural to chic and everything with this multi-finished nude bliss palette. The highly pigmented and blendable shades range from a spectrum of golden taupes to dusty coppers and rosy pink hues. Perfect for everyone from beginner to pros. Yeah, a little long. I'm going to start over. Uh, create looks from natural to chic and everything with this did they mean everything in between? Because they didn't put it. Create looks from, from... Create... That's what I get. Create looks from natural to chic and everything with this multi-finish nude bliss palette. The highly pigmented and blendable shades range from a spectrum of golden taupes to dusty coppers and rosy pink hues. Perfect from everyone from beginners to pros and stunningly suitable for all skin tones. Pro series brush include... Come up. Oh, this one is magnetic. Um, so this is what they look like and these are really pretty. I don't even want to swatch them because they're that pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna leave her alone. If you made it this far, make sure you like, comment what your favorite item was and the look that you might want me to do or whatever you want me to use in the next look. Um, like, comment, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Because if you stay this long, that means you like it. Okay? Okay. Yes. This is the um, Revolution Makeup. Well, this is the Makeup Revolution. Tammy X Revolution Tropical Carnival Shadow Palette. Um, So, I'm going to give some. Oh, I like the feel of it. When my mama sees this video, she is going to try to take this from me. But I'm going to go ahead and let you know, mommy. No. Okay. Okay. My mama loves like bright eyeshadow colors for real, for real. I might have to get her one myself. Yeah, I'm probably just going to get her one because she's definitely going to try to take this. I don't even know what's in it, but just by what this looks like, I know it's going to be fire, colorful fire. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to give a little info on this. Marking their second collaboration with the YouTuber, Revolution X Tammy Tropical Carnival Eyeshadow Palette is packed with 18 striking matte and shimmer shades. From Calypso, a metallic chartreuse yellow, to Bacchanal, maybe? An intense ocean blue. These hot hues are well worth celebrating. So, on um, Ulta's actual website, it lists all of the shades that are in here. And it says that this is cruelty-free and it is vegan. So, time to open this bad boy up like y'all. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
my mother is oh oh my mother is definitely going to try to take this from me and before she tries to do that i'm gonna have to get her her own yeah so yeah um it has seven shimmers and it looks like 11 mattes all right you guys that was the end of the haul if you made it this far thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i post a video also make sure you share this video share it with your friends share it with your family share it with your boo share it with your other boo and share it with your side piece okay okay thank y'all so much for watching and i will see you all next time not this time, my loving has a chance to make a change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.